<laughs> there we go. Have you ever picked up a game and just thought to yourself, wow, the combat feels really good? Whether it's landing the perfect sniper shot in Call of Duty, or taking down enemies with your katana in Ghost of Tsushima, or the numerous other games where the combat itself is just fun and feels good to play, outside of the story, the progression, and everything else in the game. A good combat system feels good on its own, and that's why in this video I will show you 10 simple ways to juice up your game's combat and have it feel great. The combat in this game does not feel good. Even though I have a cool weapon, a flashy 3-hit combo animation, and enemies that can take damage and die, it just feels really, really bad. So what I've done is that I've implemented 10 game feel elements, plus an additional bonus one, which is my favorite, which will make the same combat mechanics feel great. And I will now enable them one by one and show you the difference with each step. Also, this project is available to download on my Patreon if you want to play around with each game feel element individually and see how it feels. And I also created an extended version of this tutorial where I go over the implementation of each element in detail. So check it out and you will be supporting me a lot by doing so. Alright, so let's start with number one, which is weapon sounds. Right now when I swing the weapon, there is a sound on every swing. I'm using the same sound cue on every swing, but by randomizing the pitch between a min and max value, I get some variability between each swing so that it's not repetitive or boring. Now let's add some weapon trail effects so that the weapon leaves a trail behind it, giving it more weight and making it feel more powerful. But the biggest problem right now is that there's no feedback from the enemy at all when I hit them. So let's add some hit flash, which just makes the enemy's color flash, indicating that they have taken damage and giving the player feedback that they've done something. What goes even better with a hit flash is a hit reaction animation. So let's enable that, which makes the enemy react by playing an animation. Now we can really get the sense that, oh, we are doing damage. Although to really feel the impact of our hits, we need an impact visual effect. This, when I strike the enemy, a blood splatter, an explosion, something spawns at the place of impact, immersing the player more in the fantasy, showing them that there was something at this exact point of contact. But what really sells the feeling of impact is a proper impact sound. So let's hear this one. And I'm using the same trick as with the weapon swings here, where I'm using the same impact sound, but randomizing the pitch between a min and a max value, so it sounds different with each hit and doesn't get repetitive. Okay, now it's really starting to feel meaty. All right, and now we go to one of my favorite game feel elements, which is hit stop. Hit stop is when you pause time momentarily at the moment of impact. You might not really realize it at first, but every time the ax hits the enemy, time stops for a split second, and I have it increasing. So with the first hit, it's a little bit, with the second hit, it's a little bit more, and with the third hit, It's a lot. So now you really feel the impact of that third hit because we stop time for a long duration showing you that yet yeah, something big is happening. But the problem is this enemy isn't really reacting to something big happening. That's why we need knockback. So now if we knock back the enemy, let me go to this one here, then we really feel the impact of that third hit. <laughs> there we go. Try to go on that one. Ooh, <laughs> love it. Now, one more thing that also gives the player feedback on the damage that they've done or the amount of damage is slowly animating the health bar. So if you look now without animating it, the health bar just a chunk gets taken out of it, but you don't really know exactly how much damage you've done. 
So if we enable the health bar animation, now you see that you see exactly how much damage you've done and then it gradually starts to go down. This also gives the player the sense of progress and makes them feel a lot better and immersed that, oh, this is a good attack, it's doing good damage, and I can see and learn exactly how much damage I'm doing. And for the tenth and final item before the bonus one is Camera Shake. Camera Shake is when you shake the camera on each hit to give the feeling of impact, of weight, of damage, and generally, the stronger the hit, the more camera shake you want. So you can see that here there's a ton of camera shake. And of course, I can keep trying. If you don't like one element, you can disable it. So I can show you how it looks like without hit stop. And so on. And now for the bonus game feel element that will really take this combat system over the top. It's the cinematic attack finisher. This is when you want to make a specific attack feel incredibly powerful and like an ultimate ability or a finisher or something like that. And this is what it looks like. Nice. As you can see, the camera angle changes, time slows down, effects spawn in the background. It's just insanely powerful. Wow. So we've kept all of the combat mechanics the same, but we went from this to this. Now that is a combat system that just feels good. And finally, you may be wondering why this enemy's here. I'm gonna try to get a bowling strike, but let me turn off the cinematic finisher so I can see. All right, come on, right in the middle, right in the middle, boom, strike. <laughs> Love it. All right, and since this tutorial is about game feel, it's very important to feel these elements yourself. Uh, so try playing around with them, try seeing how they feel to you. Of course, now I showed you how they look like, how they sound, but playing around with them yourself is a different experience. So if you do want to see how I implemented all of these things in detail, I have an extended version of the tutorial on my Patreon, where you can also download the full project files and play around with the settings and each game feel element, so you can see how it feels for yourself. Yourself. Plus, of course, you will be supporting me and supporting the channel. And a huge, huge thank you to all of my current patrons who make this channel possible and make all of these videos possible. Thank you all so, so much. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. No, that's, that's stupid. Don't do that. Don't put that in the video.